I was reading, uh, the New York Times has the supposed content of these messages. These are pilots basically saying that the MCAS system was egregious, that they found it difficult to control the plane. Uh, this should have been given to the FAA sooner. It should have been given to them immediately. I mean, it should have been discussed at the moment that they were making that determination. I mean, I think this is really quite damning. And uh, that, uh, you know, the CEO is now getting ready to testify before Congress, perhaps on both Wednesday before the Senate and Thursday on the House. I mean, that's kind of like singing for your supper, Richard. Uh, this guy's job is on the line. So there are two things here, really, aren't there? The first is why, when those messages were exchanged, it wasn't taken up within the company. In other words, the certification process didn't look into this. For instance, apparently one of the messages, one of the people who were doing it convinced the FAA not to put the MCAS into the manual for pilots. To set, so that's the first issue. The second, once these messages became aware to Boeing that they weren't revealed, which is the more, I suppose the first is more serious in no sense. Well, of course, this was the chief pilot, the chief test pilot. And if he found the MCAS system to be dangerous or to be too strong, I mean, that should have been flagged for the engineers to address. That he then went on to advocate, well, there's no reason to bring this up in a, in a new manual. It really wasn't uh, significant. Uh, I, th I think that deserves very heavy examination. And secondarily, they then bury the uh, emails. Uh, until a lawyer somewhere said, listen, guys, this is too important. You've got to turn it over. At what point is somebody going to lose their job at Boeing? Um, at what point, you know, does it get to the stage where I may not have been responsible, but it happened on my watch, or I am under the principle of responsibility? Those are two great questions. You know, it seems as though nobody so far that, you know, he, he, the, Mr. Muhlenberg lost his chairmanship. The question is, how is he going to respond Wednesday and Thursday? And if it's not a, uh, a really artful performance and an honest performance, uh, I'm not sure that he won't uh, be on the chopping block. Um, Peter, this is a, a tough one for, for both of us. I mean, you obviously is in the, in the industry. I cover the industry. Boeing has an ex or did have an exemplary safety record. It, spend, it spares no efforts to, on safety. It begs the question, how did they lose their way with the, the MCAS that makes all their protestations of safety now, that they will only put that plane back in the air when it is safe, ring hollow? Well, that's, that's going to be uh, the story that business schools and others are going to be looking at for the next generation. You know, I, I, and you just don't know. I mean, I was disappointed when the top executives from Boeing moved their headquarters from the Seattle area to Chicago. I felt as though maybe they were losing touch with their production line. But I, I don't know. I think that's something where, where, where wise management guys are going to look at this and say, Here's where the here's where it turned.